Okay. Okay, Dakota, well, welcome back to an episode of Student Spotlight. I believe episode 39 it is, right, Logan? Yep, episode 39. And who are you today? Uh, my name is Braden Story. Hello, Mr. Story. Hello. What grade are you in? Uh, I'm, uh, I'm a senior, so I'm in 12. Oh, nice. Okay. One nice. month left, you know, you're kind of excited? Yeah, and no, I'm, I'm about to get right up out of here. So you're the host of the Student Spotlight, so I'm Dakota Planet. Is there anything that you would like to talk about Dakota Planet for the interview? Um... Yeah, I like make stuff for him. Really? Really? Yeah, it's about all that I do. I, 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 you know, I usually try to upload once a week, but some some weeks it just doesn't work out that way. But some weeks I've I've been very productive before and made like three a week. But oh, I remember that that was like back yeah, in, that was back in the day. It was in the heydays, you know. <laughs> so how do you feel about like the student spotlights? Do you feel like they were successful? I mean, looking back on your senior year. Yeah, I mean, it was something to do. It was a lot of fun. Um, I actually got to meet a lot of people while doing it, so that was nice. And it was also cool just, like, going through and, and just having conversations with all sorts of people and, and just seeing, like, I guess their viewpoint on certain things, like where they were at in their life, like what they were looking at doing. It was just kind of it, – it was a little bit inspiring, you know, like yeah. hearing all those stories and, like, seeing all those things. Like, I really liked that about it, you know. Yeah, so, so I did like that. So what spurred you to start making student spotlights? Um, so ever since I, I, I was like a little kid, I've always watched, um, well, since my favorite genre of music is rap music, as you guys obviously know, but I've always, like, I basically grew up on No Jumper, which is, is, which is rap interviews. So I've been watching rap interviews ever since I was a kid. Like, ever since middle school, that's basically what, my content has been that I've looked at and like yeah. you know been inspired by like that always motivated me and like hearing people's stories and stuff that like helps me push harder because I hear the way that they the way they work and that makes me want to work harder so things like that is is what really inspired me to do this so I was like you know I'm gonna do my own interview platform yeah so I did taking inspiration yeah and look where it's out huh you got like what 39 videos this is yeah 39 videos. yeah it's the 39th one and then we got a few more weeks after this and then it's about to finish up yeah so, yeah. so is there anything you plan to do like just for an end of the year kind of thing just go out in style kind of thing anything you have planned no no <laughs> not at all <laughs> it's the final stretch i get it yeah yeah, I, well, I'm not really, like, a very uh, sentimental person, like, in the stuff I do. Like, I'm probably not even going to have a graduation party. Like, it's just not something that I really do. I'll probably just, the last episode, I'll probably mention that it's the last episode. But other than that, I'm not going to like, yeah. do anything. It'll probably just be a normal interview. Maybe I'll interview yeah. one of you guys. but Yeah. Or Miss Sarver herself. Yeah, interview yeah, Sarver. Nice. Yeah, that'd be interesting. Is there, you got any plans for college? Uh, yeah, I'm going up to Michigan Tech for uh, pharmaceutical chemistry. Nice. Are you planning on getting your master's or just your BA? Or BS, I guess. Bachelor's of Science. Um. Do you plan on doing four years or like more than four years? That's what Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I, I genuinely have no idea. You're kind of just yeah. going with the flow, you know? Yeah, no, I'm just. That's like most. Honestly, I feel like that's the most seniors right now. Yeah, exactly. I'm just going with the time, like, like. I don't know. It'll work out in the end. I know that. Just coasting along, you know. It's been a weird, it's been a weird like senior. It's I guess. Been a weird ride. The weird like class for us, you know. We've kind of yeah. the weirdest experience. We've had like a full pandemic. We've had all these strange occurrences this year too. Yeah, I mean, going off of that, I guess I feel like we've had like the best kind of thing we could have gotten from our time within the pandemic because you know when we were sophomores and the pandemic started. We had already been like in high school for a little bit, so we kind of knew how it worked. Yeah. And then we came back for our senior year, and we were able to have like a semi-normal senior year. So I feel like we really did have kind of have the best of what the cards were. Yeah. See, I wouldn't say that, but I wasn't. We did have a year. I don't know. I wasn't very. Uh, like I don't feel like, like I feel like the pandemic obviously um, hurt my academic flow a lot, yeah. but at the same time, like. All you could do is keep pushing. I'm not really going to worry about if it messed me up or not. I'm just going to continue and see how it goes in the future. Just keep on going. Like, I don't really see, you know. It's kind of just the thing that happened. You gotta yeah, it happened. Move on. Move on. It happened. You move on. 
and it's not even technically over yet and it's gonna keep on do it keep on so because it's not even a pandemic it's an endemic is what they were calling it because it's not gonna it's not, it's not gonna like stop that, a pandemic stops an endemic doesn't stop looking back on your whole high school year like how, how'd you like it how'd it go what do you think this year i'd have to say it's probably one of my best uh 10th grade was good i bulled out a lot in 10th grade that was fun 11th grade was all right still a lot of bullying i think i think in ninth grade i just i wasn't really myself yet i hadn't really come into myself so it was yeah. like yeah you know a lot more just figuring out where i belonged like who i was like that's like that's what that's ninth grade was for me. with ninth grade and tenth grade you just you're trying to figure out what you're trying to be and what you're trying to go for in life yeah do you still feel like you have that kind of sense of being lost or do you have more of like direction I'm not lost. I don't necessarily know what my next move is. I don't necessarily know what it is, but I'm definitely not lost in it. Yeah. I I manage. Like I like I'll figure it out. Like I'm not really too stressed about what it is next. Yeah. I just kind of take it as it goes. One day at a time, you know. That's what I'm doing, I guess. All right. Well, we're yeah, now good. over the 6 minute mark. So, as you know, we always like to do this wrap it up with a Bit of advice for the younger kids, so a bit of advice. Possibly yourself, Logan, since you are a tenth grader. Exactly. Yeah. Well, um, the one piece of advice that I would give out right now is is one that I gave to a friend the other day, because um, she was going kind of going through a tough time with something, and she was kind of struggling with um, the idea of like, especially in a relationship, you always want to put the other person's time before yours. But at the end of the day, you have to, uh, you have to realize that you're the most important person in your life. Yeah. Nobody else's time matters more than yours. You're extremely important. You are an extremely valuable person. Um, there's nothing more valuable than yourself. So just do what's best for you. Don't really worry about others. Obviously, don't actively go out to hurt others and be as positive as possible and thrive off positive energy. Don't be negative. Yeah. But yeah, you are the most important person in your life. That's my advice. Yeah, absolutely. I, that's definitely something. That was beautiful. There's right. so Thank much hate in the world. Yeah. Well, Thank you. Thank you.